Indian animation industry has always had some issues. A question that has been in my mind since the time I realized that all my favorite animated stuff came from outside of India, be it Japanese anime or American movies or the various smaller things animated in other countries, is why can't we do it? And the most accepted answer I found to it over the internet or anywhere I could found is that Indian animation industry just sucks. It does not have the talent. But that answer always seem a little shaky to me as in a country of 1.3 billion people, we must have at least a couple of hundred people who are good at writing stuff and making great animation. And recently when I read somewhere that outsiders are investing a lot into Indian animation studios, I thought that maybe I am right. So I got into the research mode and found out everything I could and made this video to share it with everyone I care. So this is Ashutosh from Animal Lessons and let's begin this lesson. Indian animation and VFX industry was worth a huge 59.5 billion rupees in 2016 and is growing at a rate of 16.4% in 2017. This is added by the fact that 85% of this work outsourced to us by the countries with bigger name in animation. Few of the works that have their animation work or part of it being, being handled in India. Puss in Boots by DreamWorks, Madagascar 3 being animated in Bangalore, Penguins of Madagascar, Life of Pi. I was able to find the clip of what specific parts of it was animated in India and I will play them for you. Bahubali 2 which was an amazing Indian movie itself, minor scenes of Game of Thrones, James Bond movie Skyfall, the hit movie How to Train Your Dragon and many more like Shrek. This is the scene that I said I will play. I am aware that not the entire movies were animated in India but parts of all these movies were animated in Indian branches of the studio animating them by Indian animators. These investments are just growing every year and also some Indian studios are really trying to get independent movies to work but there are various major problems in their ways and it is going to be a very long battle against all odds but some people like E. Suresh of the studios Yukasaurus is working on various projects with some of the bigger studios and struggling to make purely Indian animation stand on its own. Listing some other examples would include Sharma and Kumarish, those are working on undisclosed film for 2019 whereas Yukasaurus Studios is releasing short films and started centers to help young animators. It is not like this growth does not have any issues. The biggest problem with this growth is shown in the clips playing on the background. On one side is the clips from 90s, on the other it is from the 2010s. Whereas Hanuman, a movie earned 5 crore rupees in 2005 and Bhim earned rupees 300 crore in its entire run. The downgradation of quality and story in Bhim is a major issue. This is entirely different point of discussion which I will be covering in a future video. If you want that, get to me at any of my profiles or just leave a comment. 